How could trees save us from climate catastrophes? It sounds too simple, doesn't it? Just trees. Standing there, quiet, but they've been saving us all along. Every year, trees absorb about 2.6 billion tons of carbon dioxide from the air. That's nearly one-third of what humans emit. They store it in their trunks, their roots, their soil. Carbon that would have stayed in the sky, heating everything up. A single mature tree can absorb up to 22 kilograms of CO2 a year. A forest of a million trees can pull down the equivalent emissions of 60,000 cars. But trees do more than clean the air. They cool cities by up to 8 degrees Celsius. They bring rain by releasing moisture into the atmosphere. They prevent floods, hold soil together, and feed the rivers that keep billions of people alive. A forest isn't just trees, it's a living system Birds, fungi, insects, roots, each one playing a part in keeping the planet stable. And yet we've cut down almost half the world's forests. Every year we lose around 10 million hectares, an area the size of Portugal, mostly for beef, soy and palm oil. When trees fall, the carbon they held escapes. Deforestation now causes about 10% of global emissions. But here's the thing. Scientists say restoring forests could remove up to 200 billion tons of carbon over the next century. That's a quarter of all the carbon we've ever released. If we just protected what's left and replanted what we destroyed, we could buy ourselves decades of breathing room. So yeah, trees could save us. If we let them. If we stop treating them like scenery and start seeing them as partners because they've been fighting for us long before we knew there was a war.